let's take a look at using slide outs. Now, if you haven't seen the video on modals yet, please go ahead and check out that video because there are tons of similarities between the actual settings and building of modals and slide outs. They're really similar. So I don't want to go over the exact same thing in the that I went over in the modals video because they apply exactly the same way in slide outs. Instead, I want to focus on some of the creative and different uh, creative ways to use slide outs and some of the different settings that you didn't see in the modals video. So like I said, if you haven't seen the modals video, pop back, watch the modals video, and that way you'll see I didn't need to repeat myself for slide outs. So um, just like in modals, we're going to navigate to the page that we want to have this, this flow trigger on. Um, however, with most slide outs, same thing as modals. If you want them to trigger on multiple pages, it's not super critical that you have it built in the, the pages that you want it to appear on, um, especially if you're going to have it trigger on all pages, for example. So I'm just gonna build it here on my dashboard. I'm gonna click create new content. I'm gonna start here and I'm going to create a flow. I'm gonna name, move my face. I'm gonna name this um, slide out. And now I'm going to change my theme here just because I can. I'm going to change it to myself. And this is going to be in the new users onboarding category, but I could make this an announcement, for example, instead. I'll go ahead and create. If you have questions about how and where to create categories, there's a video on that as well. So definitely check that out. Let's go ahead and add our UI pattern. And this is going to be a slide out. Slide outs are excellent for making announcements, inviting um, users to uh, join you for webinars. Maybe some of you guys have seen our slide out for that. Um, they're a little bit more subtle than modals, but I think that they're really, really valuable tools. Another great thing about modals is that you can actually interact with the platform while there is a, a slide out out, and that allows you to Perhaps you can embed a video directly in your slide out so that your users can watch the video while they work on a form um, and it, it helps optimize the time and space um, there on your platform. So we'll take a closer look at that. Um, like I said, it's very, very similar. You'll notice to the modal section, you can choose between the different templates that are already here or build your own, exactly the same as in the modals video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing is um, I'm going to move directly into the group settings because the um, individual settings are exactly the same as the ones in modals. And now what we need to look at first um, that does make this a little bit different is if you recall in modals, your backdrop is automatically turned on in the modals one. However, it's turned off in slide outs. When the backdrop is off, like I said, your users can interact with the platform. So this is great if you do have a little bit of dead space or open space so that you could optimize that with actual content and then allow your user to interact other ways. Or if you do really just want it to, uh, like all of the attention to be focused in on this slide out, you can turn on the backdrop and with the backdrop on, they cannot interact with the platform. So things to be mindful of. The next thing that you have is the placement of a slide out where modals only gave you these two options with slide outs. They're going to come obviously from the side. It's a slide out. So you can choose between, um, the, various positions on the platform that makes sense for you. So I'm going to leave mine here for now and exactly the same processes as modals. You can drag and drop these. You can add different um, survey tools. You can add absolutely all of the different um, options that are available in your uh, modals. It's actually, they're available on, in all of the UI patterns. So you can add texts, headers, images, videos, buttons, emojis, HTML, small text inputs, large text inputs, and radio buttons. As I mentioned, we are going to have a video that goes into more detail about how to embed videos, um, how to set up forms and like the optimization of forms. So definitely check out all of those. But I just wanted to give you the basic how to and when to use a slide out. So I hope that this has been clear for you. I believe all of the previous settings that we talked about in modals are relevant here. So feel free to go check out that modal video. Otherwise, happy building.